What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nate Almighty, a.k.a. the Global Dog Skin Ambassador. I'm back. This video might offend some people. It also might enlighten some people. I'm going to get straight to it. How I feel these days is um a lot of women, a lot of women these days are attractive bums. They're bozos. Now, this is not an attack on all women. I'm simply just calling out what I see going on these days with women. Um, if you're new to my channel, you know, I chop dudes also. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a video telling dudes about themselves soon too, so stay tuned for that. But we about to get into it right now. How to tell if a girl is an attractive bum. Reason number one. She has only a high school education or no education at all. Now, this is pretty clear. If you don't have at least a high school education, then what does that say about you? That says that unless you went through some type of traumatic experience that kept you behind from being in the seat at school, you just don't care about your education enough to take your behind the school and at least get a high school diploma. At least a GD. I mean, I got my GD while I was in jail. So you can't get one while you out here? Because, you know, most women are not going to jail. You know, so if she doesn't care about education at all, and at the same time doesn't have a hustler's mentality, then uh, she's an attractive bum. She's corny. And these are women who men should not care too much about because she adds zero value to your life. Moving on. Number two, she never keeps a job. She never keeps a job, like ever, ever, ever. Doesn't keep a job. Um, You know you talking about these are some of our shit. Even mothers, some of our aunts, Sisters, nieces, cousins. Like, why she don't never keep a job? Like, if you own a business or you're starting a, a, a upstart business or something, no, I'm not high and mighty. No, I don't have all the businesses running that I want to be having. But, you know, I set little tiny goals one day at a time. Now, if this is a girl who doesn't do that and she just never has a job, never has a consistent job, that shows that her character is uh, poor in judgment. She has, she doesn't have a lot of discipline. You know, um, why you can't keep a job? What are you doing with yourself? Like, you just getting high, you just having sex, you just on a block. Like, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. And then you wanna waste a nigga like me time. I don't have time for this. Like, why you can't ever keep no job? Get some business about yourself, bitch. Like, damn. Number three, always begging for something. Always begging for something. Why? Why are you always begging for something? You know, let me keep it efficient. I live in low-income housing, right? I'm in the hood. I'm in the hood, but I also have my own, you know what I'm saying? I'm 29 years old. I know a lot of dudes that's older than 29, they ain't got their own, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm self-sustainable, you know what I'm saying? Like, like when you come from a, 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 a poverty-stricken uh, background, you got to learn and build yourself up with uh, financial literacy and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm climbing a ladder one day at a time. I'm getting better and better with this shit, you know what I'm saying? But an attractive bum. Is that cute girl that's always asking for something, right? She's like Felicia from Friday, just always asking for something. Like where I live, where I live, like like like, there are girls who who you can't even say hi to them without them asking for 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 a cigarette, free weed, free alcohol. None of these things are expensive. Why you can't get it yourself? Why you don't have it? Why are you always begging? And it ain't a situation where 
Why I spend mine when I can spend yours? Because I'm looking at you. You clearly don't got it. Like, like when you out here, when you out here bumming, you know what I'm saying? Asking for bust downs and cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Asking for $5 blunts for credit. You hurting, bitch. Like, you're hurting. And you need to get some business about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you doing bad out here. You're doing real bad out here. Number four. Wants the world with nothing to offer. True, attractive bum. She wants the world, but she has nothing to offer the world. Nothing. 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 Like, she's just like, like, like useless. Like, she wants a guy to commit to her. Um, she, she, she can't cook. She don't like the clean. She like the party all the time. She's a moocher. She's a freeloader. She wants somebody to take care of her. Like, she's a, a, a child. But, you know, like, she don't even have the discipline necessarily to even, like, keep her body together. At least, if you're going to be an attractive bum, at least be the most fire version of yourself. But you eating cheeseburgers and pot pies and, and, and Zaxby's all day. By the way, Zaxby's is fire. That's the best chicken in South Carolina. If you haven't eaten Zaxby's before and you from New York or somewhere else, trust me, that Zaxby's is hit. But, like, an attractive bum... She wants you to do all these things for her, but she can't do nothing for you. She can't offer you nothing but her body. That gets boring from time to time, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody just want to hit a, a useless person all the time. Like, that's trash. Moving along, though. Number five. Never has anything interesting to talk about. I fraternized with a lot of attractive bones before. Um, I've smashed quite a few attractive bums. And what I learned is they don't really have anything interesting to talk about, you know? If they're not talking about what's going on with their baby daddy or a girl they don't like, if she's not talking about something wrong she did or something that she claims was done wrong to her, if she's not complaining about anything, then she's talking about Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Love and Hip Hop, a whole bunch of irrelevant stuff that don't matter. But as soon as you start getting on some educational type shit, some spiritual stuff, as soon as you start trying to send her links to um, audio books or self-improvement type of thing, as soon as you try to have a deep conversation, she's disinterested. She want to go to sleep or she want to leave the area. Useless. Totally, totally useless. Therefore, she's an attractive bum. Right? Boom. And bringing you to the last one. Number six. She thinks her body and presence is enough. Well, I'm here to tell you, bitch. Your body and presence is not enough. We're men. We're men. Like, like it's, it's, it's 15 women for every one man on this planet. So you trying to tell me that you just think your box is just so good? Like, your head is just so good. Like, you're just so pretty, so fire, that that's enough. None of the intangibles matter. None of the intangibles matter. You being able to hold a good conversation doesn't matter. You being good with kids doesn't matter. You being able to have certain qualities that complement a man who's trying to do big things in his life. Um, you not being good with money. None of that matters. None of that matters. It's like, how are you useful thinking your body is just good enough? And this is partly because us men, we sell ourselves short sometimes. And we really make them think that it's enough. But you would think that an attractive bum would get why you smashed a couple times and then never tried to take her out. Never went nowhere. Never tried to make a commitment. You would think she would realize that she's an attractive bum and she needs to work on herself. But she didn't. That's the crazy thing about it. It's like, 
Just attractive bum after attractive bum. I would say over ratio. I would say 60, 70% of women are pretty much attractive bums. But this is the thing though. Only 1% of those women. I'm, I'm going to be generous. Only 5% of those women are super, super fire dimes. To where you don't have to learn any skills. You could just post a couple pictures and then you can start selling flat tummy tea and, and boutique shops and fashion over dresses and all that other stuff. But what about the rest of y'all? What about y'all that are three, four, five, sixes and sevens in a market value place? You're gonna have a tough life. You're gonna have a tough road ahead of you. So I suggest, just like all men need to do, women need to work on themselves. Some of these women need to learn skills because you gotta compensate for not being the baddest of the bunch. Like you have to learn to do something else. And head and box is not good enough. That was it though. How to tell if a girl's an attractive bum. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Holla at me.